all right, here's a little project that I built. Now I didn't, I didn't design this, I stole it. Um, so this comes from a, a YouTuber uh, called Volos Projects. I'll put a link down below. He's got a lot of uh, videos. He's just kind of starting up a channel. And he has a bunch of videos on using the TTGO uh, device, which is an ESP32 with a display built in. Great little devices, I love them too. He's got a bunch of programs in, and, and donates his code and stuff to do things. Um, he's got some games that he wrote and stuff. But anyway, this one is a color picker. So you can choose how much red you've got and how much green you've got and how much blue you've got. And then you can make, uh, make cyan. If you mix those two together, you get yellow if you mix these two together. So it's, 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 it's fun to begin with. Now, he, he has a little board laid out and he has little, little rotary uh, potentiometers. And I thought since he has a bar graph, I'll put in some sliders to make, make them match. So uh, mine's a little fancier than his. And um, he gives you the code, the, the, the uh, hexadecimal code to uh, whatever color that is. So you can kind of, if you're designing a, a display, you can kind of pick the colors you want and then write down that code and, and add that to your program. Um, other, otherwise, you can just kind of play with colors, <laughs> which, is, which is a fun thing to do. Now, this uh, uh, program reminded me, um, I used to do a lot of uh, color science with uh, cameras and displays, um, scanners, uh, that kind of stuff. And the idea of red, green, and blue as the color primaries, you know, when, when did people figure that out? You know, how far back in history did, did people figure that out? Well, um, so it's kind of sciencey, right? Colors kind of hits you smack in the face when you start taking a look at the real world. So one of the first um, scientists who talked about color was Newton. So in Newton's um, handbook, he wrote down a little drawing where he had uh, cracked, he had actually punched a hole in his blinds on his, on, on his window. So it was dark in the room and he poked a hole in the blinds and he got this ray of light, the way, ray of white light coming into the room. And then he put a prism and broke it up into a rainbow and tried to figure out why does it do that? You know, and so he surmised that white light is actually composed of all the other colors all scrambled together. Um, and uh, so he, you know, he talked about that and, but the, he didn't talk about red, mixing red, green, and blue to get other colors, okay? Um, that came along uh, with uh, Sir Maxwell. Yes, of Maxwell's equation. Yes, the guy who did all of the Maxwell's equation was the first one who come, came up with, with RGB. So uh, here's a picture of his uh, triangle. And so he has a, he, he, he proposed an equilateral triangle where you have red at one end, green at one end, and blue at one end, and then all the other colors mix in the middle. So any combination of red, green, and blue will give you any other colors. Now, he experimented with this with this cool wheel that he had. Now, he had this wheel that he built, and it had red, green, and blue on it, and if you spun it, then your eye would homogenize all those colors and come up with the resulting color, whatever percent ratios you had. And he had little louvers that he could move back and forth so he could change the percentage of green or the percentage of red. And so he could use this to make other colors by spinning the wheel. And he used to take this wheel to parties and he'd say, hey, look at the cool thing I built. <laughs> and he'd spin the wheel and people would stare at it for hours and think it was super cool. Anyway, so he was the first one he ca who came up with the, uh, with the idea of RGB. Now, uh, back in, in the very late 1920s, um, and it was standardized in 1931, they came out with uh, a science of colors, and they were called X, Y, and Z, because they weren't exactly red, green, and blue. Uh, there, there seemed to be more colors than that, and so they created a color space. This is the first time they, they talked about color spaces, and they had the X, Y, Z color space. And the X, Y, Z color space is kind of a weird upside-down horseshoe type, uh, or a tongue. Some people call it the tongue. And... Um, you know, a display, a red, green, and blue display can only show a small portion of what humans can see. If you go out in the real world, you can see all sorts of colors, but a television set or your, your iPhone or whatever, which is an RGB device, can only display a certain color palette. And it's described here as, as a triangle. 
So if you plot all of the colors a display can make, you will get this triangle, which will look a lot like Sir Maxwell. You have green at one corner, blue at one corner, red at the other corner, and all the other, corner, all the other colors in between. And when X, Y, and Z all equal one, then you're smack dab right in the middle of this thing, which is where white is, okay? So that's the uh, 1931 tristimulus values. Um, of course, these days things have gotten better, um, and the big boys use things like LAB, um, which is a luminance, and, uh, a luminance channel L, and two chrominance channels AB, and uh, here's a picture of that, there, and you can see on the right-hand side, um, that is a slice at a particular luminance level. So this is the AB, the AB um, subslice, and L is in the vertical direction that you can't see. So they've sliced L at 50%, and those are all the colors of AB at that point. And so LAB is actually a three-dimensional space, which is what you see on the left, and that's the color, three-dimensional color gamut on the, uh, on the left there. And uh, so, you know, nowadays everybody's used to, you know, like Microsoft Paint and you can go pick a color and stuff. And anyway, that's kind of, it's interesting to know that the origins of RGB go back to, go back to Maxwell and uh, then you can, you can build cool little things like this to play with. Um, and so uh, I'll put a link down below to the, to the uh, YouTube that I got this from. I've added one, one, one feature to it, of course, I had to add something. If you push this button, what it does is it, uh, it takes red, green, and blue, and it starts mixing them in different, in different colors. And it goes all the way around the rainbow, so it goes from red uh, into yellow into green, and then it'll go into cyan over to blue. Once it gets to blue, it'll start going back over to red and start making purples. And then uh, when it gets back to red, it'll be complete. Okay, so what did we just do? Well, we just, we just used this, uh, basically this XYZ triangle that I showed, and we went along the sides of the triangle. So we showed the perimeter, perimeter of the triangle. We took red, and then we started adding green, and then we subtracted red, and then we started adding blue. Anyway, we went all the way around that triangle, and that's what, uh, that's what this button does. And it displays the uh, color code for this thing. All right, so the interesting thing about the color codes for this particular display is that instead of being uh, 256, 256, 256 values of red, green, and blue, it's only uh, five bits of blue, six bits of green, and five bits of red. So it's a little bit smaller color gamut than uh, a normal display.